What's up people, we are back with more of WAS, the Hourglass of Lepidoptera. In the previous video, we sort of broke things off with Nina. Well, it was her initiative, considering she kind of has to go back to Germany for unknown reasons to us, but we seemingly didn't mind that much, because it really felt like Nina was just something that was attached to his previous life but he just built up such a new life Tadayoshi that I don't know I don't want to say that Nina was holding him back or anything but I, I, I have a feeling that he just prefers his current and new life much more than his previous one so yeah a uh, couple of days have passed since then so let us continue days later yeah no good your eyes are telling me where you're going. I tried to swing a wooden tonfa at Lin. No matter how hard I tried to hit her, she easily dodges them. She isn't even bothering to block my attacks. Well, this is unfair training, right? She can read mine, so... I'd say it's already pretty hard to hit her regardless, even if we were good, right? She could still dodge them because of the fact that she can read our mind. She dodges my attacks, sighing. How about this? I'm going for her jaw, swinging the tonfa upwards, and unleash a, a, unleash a forceful blow at Lin's jaw. Gotcha! Huh? Lin crouches to dodge the blow, then sweeps my leg. The world turns upside down, and I fall flat on my butt. Hmm. Lin points the tonfa at me, her face devoid of expression. If this weren't a training session, she would have finished me off. I... I give up! You are getting better, but not good enough. Lin puts the Tafa down as I surrender to her. Some months have passed since I started, my ch uh, started to train with Lin. Lin has begun teaching me to fight with Tanfa, since she thinks I have enough muscle for it now. You've got to remember how short you are, boy. Trying to hit someone in the face will force you to drop your guard. Hitting your opponent in the jaw can knock them unconscious, but they'll be on the lookout for that kind of attack, so you have to catch them off guard. Lin always lectures me after sparring. I kneel down and listen to her advice. It hurts to be reminded how short I am, but I can't exactly argue back. And I keep telling you to stay as low as possible, otherwise your opponent could hit a fatal, uh, land a fatal hit on you. Being short isn't really a disadvantage. Know your body frame, and use it well. It's hard to fight someone who's shorter. You can still get opportunities at your size. Try to exhaust your opponent instead of just knocking them out. Huh? Exhaust? Yeah, keep your opponents busy until they are too tired to keep their guard up. Then, take that opportunity to beat them. Oh, so that's how I should fight. Lin beats thugs in a single hit when they try to mess with her. Her muscles, agility, and experience allow her to do that. But Lin, you look awfully slender for someone as strong as you are. I glance away from Lin for a second. What is it, boy? You wanna play with me? You're always welcome. <laughs> That's that guy again. The muscular man in the jumpsuit says something weird, flexing his pecs. Even that guy says Lin is too strong for him, but I think he looks more menacing than Lin. I think I know what you're trying to say. But remember this, you can't win with strength alone. Oh? Is that so? No matter how strong you are, it means nothing if you can't hit things. I have no desire to be like that meat bag over there. I'm, sh I'm not sure I could be anyway. So I train for speed over strength. Fast attacks are always effective, even if you lack muscle. It makes sense. I can't see you being all muscle bound. How can she move so fast with that much fat on her chest? Oh god. For me, tits are nothing but blobs of fat. A flat chest is the best, said no man ever. Yikes. That's what you're into? No way! Nah, I'm all about the hidden ones, like Rosary back at the church. I'm sure she's got bigger tits than she lets on, 
and she's still growing. She's gonna turn out great. Oh my god, for some reason I always just... Ugh. When I read those stuff, talking about Rosary and stuff, it's like, what? How dare they talk about her like that? I've told you a dozen times. Stop, stop treating us like we're on display for you. Get out of my sight, one, don't you? Uh-oh. This painter's angered. The bystanders run as soon as Lin glares at them. I think my training with Lin is a sort of a circus show for them. But hey, haven't you been visiting Lin a little too often? Um, yeah. Rosary will be mad at you if you don't help her. What? Being stronger takes priority for me. Rosary will, uh, will be angry if I don't help her. I don't know. What is this all about? They're saying I visit Lin a bit too often, but what are they implying? That I neglect Rosary and that she needs my help at the moment and therefore if I don't help her right now, she'll be angry at me? Or that I should prioritize my training over Rosary? I don't know. The thing is, we didn't really hear anything from Rosary that she was busy with something that needs help or requires our help, so... I don't know what this is all about, but you know what, we can train any other time. If Rosary really needs us at the moment, then I guess we could help her? Uh, do you think so too? I know that I've been skipping work at the church too much, but given what Nina said, I figured I wasn't fit for it as I am now. Oh, so you figured it out, boy. I thought you'd be too blind to see it, Lin says with a slight smile. Come on, I'm not that young. I'm adult enough to pay attention. But Rosary and the others are pointing out that I didn't pay attention. Uh-huh. People have pointed out your lack of sensitivity already. What? Don't read my mind, Lin. My thoughts are my own, okay? I don't have to read your mind. It's obviously visible on your face. Yeah, even I can see what he's thinking. Th th that's harsh you guys, you're all picking on me. Is my face showing my thoughts so obviously? Maybe I'd better brush up my poker face too, so I don't get mocked. Boy, I don't think you can maintain a poker face. I assume you don't know how to hide your expressions, right? No, I can, I will. How about this? I try to be unexpressive, but Lin just sighs at me. I wonder what kind of expression I'm showing her. Enough. You should go back and apologize to Rosary. Uh, I know. I'm expecting her to scold me a lot. Myrna's been pretty scary lately too, but at least Julia's still helping me. You're really miserable, boy. Shut up! All the girls around me are just too strong! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Later, I'm going back home. Lin turns and walks away. Hey Lin, I might not be able to keep coming here every day, but you won't abandon me over that, right? Huh? We started out just doing training on your off days, so we'll go back to that. I won't abandon you at all, I'm as good as my word. Thanks Lin. You'd better hustle over to the church. I know, see you later Lin. Having said that, I start running towards the church. I'm pretty sure no one would want me to go or would want to go home to a scolding without a reason. And Rosary's scary when she's angry. This should cheer Rosary up. He hasn't gotten much time to care about things, but maybe this will help him change for the better. Lin looks in the direction Tataroshi ran off. There's nobody there. He's really something if he's drawing my attention that much. Alright, I should take a nap. Gotta make some money tonight. Lin stretches and goes home. Rosary! As I run to the church, I see Rosary cleaning the entrance with a broom. Tadayoshi-kun, where have you been? Were you planning to skip work again today too? Rosary stops cleaning and starts lecturing me. Uh, hey, please, just give me a moment, Rosary. What? Why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Uh, can you bring everyone to the chapel? 
I have something to say. Okay. Rosary stopped the lecture mode and gathered everyone in church. So, what do you want to say? Tell us, I was cleaning windows with Julia and I was gonna go get it, uh, get back to it. But Tadayoshi-san must have something to say since he called us to the chapel. Julia's too reasonable. You should tell Tadayoshi not to disturb us. I have a feeling that we've been neglecting our, our you know, our family a little bit too much. Because they don't seem to like us that much anymore. But they're so damn adorable. M Mirna-chan, I don't think I can. Hey, everyone, sit down and hear him out. Rosary gives me a helping hand to calm them down. Right, now is the time to apologize. I know I'm the one at fault. I take a deep breath and look at everyone. Everyone. I'm sorry for skipping work in the church. I'll go back to helping you from now on. So I hope you'll, for, uh, you'll all forgive me. I bow my head to everyone. I said it. I finally said it. But I'm terrified of how, uh, of how they'll react. Huh? Nobody's answering me. I wonder how they took what I had to say. I slowly raise my head. Then... So you finally noticed. Good to hear. Oh, Tadayoshi. I've got no choice but to forgive you if you apologize like that. You're making up with the family. <laughs> because you're already one of us. One of us. One of us. The children jump on me joyfully. Aw, happy family. I was sure when you said to gather everyone that you were going to say you were leaving. I'm glad that's not the case. Rosary stands up and slowly approaches me. You've grown up once again by visiting Lin, it seems. Grown up? Did I grow up? I'm pretty sure I'm still no match for Lin. <laughs> now that Tora Tarayoshi kun is back again, Let's put him to work. Yay, I return to work. <laughs> Yay, agreed. Wait. Tadayoshi-kun, you're going to work harder than everyone else to make up for the days you've skipped. Rosary says with a big smile. She's smiling, but somehow I get the feeling of pressure from her. Understood. I can't argue with Rosary, so I'll have to work harder like she said. But didn't Nina said that we should actually stick with um, with Lin? But so far the choices that we've made haven't really been that impactful, I think. They might, they might have changed some courses, but I don't feel like they had a lot of impact on the story. But nevertheless, I think like... Because the fact that this game has choices, there must be like different sorts of endings as well, so I'm not entirely sure, but we'll find out. Months later. I've been getting stronger thanks to Lin's training, even without skipping work at the church. I've become, uh, become friends with people in the slums, and I'm enjoying the days as they pass. I never would have dreamed back in the mansion that I could live such a productive life. I don't know who left me in the slums, but I'm grateful to them now. From now on, I'll live here as just plain Tadayoshi, and I can't believe how happy that life is. This place is poor, but there's something more important, something that eyes cannot see. Hey boy, we're going for a run. Okay, this time I'm going to beat you. It's gonna take a hundred years to beat me. Get ready, go. I will live here with Lin, Rosary, and everyone. I'll be here today, tomorrow, and all the days after that. But all of a sudden, my consciousness fades. I don't even have a chance to resist. What? I can't stand it. So disgusting. I missed a chance to use my pawn. There's no point living peacefully in that world. It's senseless. Well, I'll just have to rewind. 
I hope my pawn motivates him next time. <laughs> what? Pawn? Didn't I mention something like that before? That it just sort of feels like we're a foot soldier for that guy? Or at least, you know, me, which was Cerula and Veridis. I don't know who that is yet. What? Well, it seems like this particular option that we take, which actually seems like a happy ending, right? Because it seems like Tadayoshi then just decides to lead a normal life with Rosary and the kids at the church and just in the slum in this new area in general. But apparently we're not meant for that. We're meant for a higher purpose, which is what that mysterious man is basically all about, right? Apparently we're his pawn and he was upset that he missed his chance and he basically said let's just rewind time. So that's pretty much what I've done right now as well and I went back to this choice. So I'm guessing that was not the right option to take even though it sort of leads to a happy life for Tadayoshi. But I'm not sure what the unconsciousness was though. It, it, we either just... Okay, I, I don't know. Now that I start to think more about this, is that... Did, did he just like... No, right? It's not like we're... Uh, we're he, he called us a pawn. But it's not like we're... He can disable us or something? Like, okay, damn it. He, we missed our window of opportunity. Bam. And then he shuts us off. We're not a freaking robot, right? So... I don't know. It seems really peculiar. But I guess the only way to find out is to just take our righteous path of being a pawn and lead a higher purpose rather than just leaving, uh, leading a normal life so being stronger takes priority for me uh, I know they're pointing out what hurts me most I've been so absorbed in training with Lin that I skip helping out at the church to visit her and it's a fact that Rosary and the children complain to me every time I return to the church but I have to be strong I really have to get stronger as soon as I can it feels bad though like I, I just feel like it sucks to sort of abandon the kids you know like uh, we've, we've led so we've had so many happy memories and whatnot and then it feels bad to just sort of do my own thing like yeah I need to become stronger screw the kids like that's not how I want to think about things but that's apparently the path we have to take so I tried I'm sorry kids <laughs> daddy's not gonna be oh, I'm, I'm not daddy I'm big brother but yeah he's not gonna be there after the meeting with Nina I think I'm feeling pressured there isn't much time left so I can't waste my time helping them at the church I hope Rosary will understand that someday They've got a point there. Is it really okay to ignore them, boy? Hey, I can understand you want to be stronger, but I don't think it's good to skip your work. Yeah, you agree? I think they would do fine without me, just like in the old days. Uh-huh. I don't hate to see him getting better, but I don't think it's a good it's good to ditch anything else. I should talk with Rosary about this. Lin is thinking in silence. I'm pretty sure she's thinking about my work at the church. But in the end, me getting stronger will benefit Rosary, the children, and the church. It's alright, Lin. Let's get back to training. We're wasting time. Okay. So I continue to spar with Lin until late in the evening when it becomes too dark to see her movements. That basic training she told me to keep doing has finally paid off. If I had skipped it, I'd probably be too tired to even move right now. And running is good exercise too. I run all the way back to the church. I used to think Lin's place was pretty far from the church, but now I'm tough enough to run the whole way easily. I'm glad that daily training worked on me. Rosary stands in front of the church. She does not look happy. She waited for me? How nice of her. Hey, Rosary, I'm home. I'm home? 
Do you know what you just said? I take a closer look at Rosary, but she doesn't look like she's welcoming me back from training. She's so frustrated. You left your work until this late. Where did you wander off to? Oh no, Rosary's angry now. I didn't wander off at all. I was training with Lin. And were you training with Lin yesterday? And the day before too? You've been out training with her every day! Yeah, I can't skip training or it'll take more time to make up for the days I skipped. Hey, is your training more important than your work in the church? Rosary scolds me again. Oh, this feels bad. How come followers of God like to berate people so much? <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosary. You don't seem to be sorry. Are you just saying that? She's falling afoul on me harder than usual. Can't all the work at the uh, work at the church get done without me? You were doing fine before I got here, and it'll be inefficient if I help them. So things will actually go more smoothly if I'm not here. <gasps> Tara Yoshikun, are you even listening to yourself? Huh? I just think it's best I'm not here, if that's what you're talking about. Uh oh, are we gonna get- oh, Dang! Ow! What are you doing? My right cheek suddenly feels hot and sore. She slapped me so hard, it keeps getting warmer. Apologize now, Tadayoshi-kun! Apologize now! Why should I apologize? I haven't done anything bad. Rosary is biting her lip and trembling. A big teardrop is about to fall from her eye. Can't you understand what you must not say? She stopped calling me Tadayoshi-kun. This tells me that she's really angry now. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, that's it? Don't be silly. Dang! The sound of a loud impact echoes through the church. She slapped me again on the exact same spot. That hurts! Why are you so angry? Do you realize what you just said? Did the training with Lin make you lose your ability to understand others? What? Her words get on my nerves. Fine. It's my own fault I've been skipping my chores at the church. But that's nothing to do with Lin. I didn't mean that. Why don't you try to understand me? A tear falls from Rosary's big round eyes. Why would anyone get so angry over someone skipping work? Huh? You don't understand me! I had to shout loudly at her. I want to be strong, to be able to protect everyone. Why can't she understand that? The more I think about it, the more frustrated I get. What a stupid, wrong-headed bigot you are! Oh my god, you should not have said that, Tadayoshi. Huh? Doesn't that mean you're being a stupid, wrong-headed bigot too? Rosary's face is red with anger. I hate women for being sentimental like that. Alright, you don't want me here, right? What? Julia's better than me at housework, and Alan and Myrna work harder than I do. I can't help them at all, so I should just leave. I can't control my anger, and I keep on talking wildly. Why? Why would you say such a thing? Rosary is crying. I know it's bad, but there's no turning back. Huh? I'm only telling the truth taking my abilities into account. <laughs> so be it. If you insist, do whatever you like. Go anywhere you want. Yeah, I will. After those words, I turn around and run from the church at full speed. <laughs> Tadayoshi-kun, you're such a fool. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to happen at all. But apparently that's what's gotta happen. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to happen. I mean, I 
I kind I mean I'm assuming the reason why um, why she's mad Rosary is that you know we came into their life and it sort of felt like we were becoming part of this family with her and now we're sort of neglecting them all of them and I'm guessing this might have something to do with not only her own troubled past but the troubled past of all of the other kids as well like Alan, Myrna, and uh, Julia. I have a feeling that like they they probably don't bond with other people as well, or don't trust other people that well. And we came into their life, and they trusted me, and it felt and it felt like you know they accepted me as their big brother. And now we're just kind of going away from that, and it sucks. But apparently that's what we gotta do. And I can really understand why um, why Rosary would be upset about that, and that's something that. I have a feeling that Tadayoshi just doesn't really quite understand yet because of the sheltered life that he led before this and yeah he, he is still I mean sure he is maturing but it, it it will come with age right it doesn't just all come at once immediately so yeah I don't blame Rosary for being upset but apparently this is just the road that we gotta take. We, we have a higher purpose in life seemingly with the mysterious man and our future does not lie with Rosary and the other kids in the church so I'm sad about that a little bit because you know we've had a lot of good memories with that a lot of fun memories like those moments where like the cooking battle or just eating with them or just doing simple chores or whatnot with Alan Myrna and Julia those are actually pretty fun moments and to think that we would never have those again actually makes me genuinely sad but unfortunately we gotta have to end the video here so I think uh, yeah one thing that we've already established throughout this video is that apparently there are sort of bad endings I mean the game really just ended abruptly there but it it sort of sent the message that we had to go back he said like I have to rewind time so basically he just meant like yeah you have to go back make a different choice but there wasn't like a particular ending screen or something so that's a little bit confusing but it just seems like yeah you made the wrong choice here go make the other one and that's what we did and this is the road that it takes us so I'm just letting the wind take me wherever it wants me to so yeah, I'm gonna end this uh, video here. Thank you so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you in the next video. Because it's actually shaping up quite uh, to be quite interesting. But I'm really, really interested into what is going to happen exactly with the mysterious man. And apparently there is just this higher purpose for me, Cerula, and Veridis. Which... The only close assumption I can make right now is uh, is Lin, but we don't know exactly. So yeah, we're just gonna have to find out in the future. So yeah, once again, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!